Hey guys, it's Shadukta MPX, and today we're starting a brand new Minecraft adventure on a server called LavaCraft. Now, LavaCraft at the moment it's in its season two, so we've started a bit late, but better late than never, right? If you want to check out what happened in season one, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but I'll tell you a few things about this season, uh, just so we're all up to date. Uh, the big difference from Season 1 is that Season 2 has a theme, so it's called the Expanding the Wilds, which is very fitting for uh, Mojang's latest update for Minecraft. Uh, expanding the Wilds, so it means two very important rules. Yeah, I know, rules. Minecraft rules. Uh, so, rule number one is that there is a border limit to the world. However, at the center of spawn, which I can show you here, is just over here. So at the center of spawn, we have this border machine. Now, this border machine, if you pay one diamond to it, uh, it will expand the border uh, around all four edges uh, by one block, opening up new lands uh, for us to explore. Uh, the other, the, which brings us to rule number two, the wilds. This rule essentially means any player that is south of the world or whose Z coordinate is in the positive is in the wilds. So in the wilds uh, PvP is allowed and stealing is allowed. Uh, however no griefing because no one likes griefing so don't grief. Uh, the nether and the end are also considered wilds as well. So we want to be careful in those areas as well, and we venture forth in there. Now, with that out of the way, let's dive right in. So this is our spawn right here, and this wall uh, marks off where the Z coordinate uh, is. So right here, whoop, whoa, we're in the wilds now, oh, yeah, we'll stay in the safe zone. Uh, but everything in the negative uh, is safe zone as well, so that means it expands more of the safe zone and the wilds. So there's equal opportunity to explore on both sides. Uh, the server for this season has already uh, been up and running for a couple of weeks now, uh, so everything has been uh, been played through for a little bit. We've already got an airship over there that's going through, a parkour course that I will not do because uh, yeah, I'm not good at the parkour. Um, <laughs> We've got a little community farm up here, so oh, I've got a, a little bit of bread. So I might, might grab a little bit more bread while we're here. Uh, so everyone has started up their bases. Uh, I've got a few stuff, so I might just chuck onto my armor while we're at it. Um, yeah, I've already got a few stuff from just starting up because, you know, got, we've, got, we've got to get a little bit ready, a little bit ready for you guys. So, alright, there's nothing in there I can just take immediately, so let's just grab some weed. Alright. Mm. That should be good. Plant it up because we are a very good citizen. We do not leave any fertile land without the seeds back in. Good member of the community. And I just collected more seeds. <laughs> We're gonna have more seeds at this rate. Alright, there we go. That should be enough. Just for a few more. And they can go in there. Alright. There we go. Oh, perfect number. There we go. Alright. So I have already scoped out a potential base area that I'm thinking of. I was kind of thinking of almost doing it up in the mountains because, you know, why not? Could be fun. A little bit of seclusion uh, away from everyone. But I thought bigger, let's go even further away. Uh, this here, this is Anya's base. So she's made it out of this um, cherry blossom biome, which I think was player created. It wasn't actually naturally spawned here. but. We digress. Um, so this is pretty much the main spawn area, the main valley, where everyone groups up. There is a uh, public nether portal over there, but 
uh, that could be a death trap. <laughs> and we don't want to fall for those shenanigans. Uh, so we're going to be heading more this way. This is where I've kind of ventured forth a little bit. And we will need to take in a bit of the scenery. I love this uh, shader pack as well. I'll put that in the description as well if you're interested in using this shader pack. I believe it's the complementary shaders that I've got using at the moment. It's very nice, very nice. Uh, this server also has data packs, so it utilizes a few data packs for different reasons. Oh, we also got a shop over here, so we've got the, the wordsmith. Uh, this is Lavathor's shop, I believe. And ooh, silk touch, 10 diamonds. Ah, a bit, bit expensive for me at the moment. Don't have any diamonds. I'll close the door for him. Uh, <laughs> a little bit, little bit expensive on my side at the moment. Uh, another shop over there. And we've got competition. Um, we've got another shop over here. The tool shop, I'm guessing. Builder's Corner. That might be fun. What's in here? How much? What do we got? Pay here for purchases. Alright. But how much? Doesn't say. Two diamonds. Oh, you just pay in there? What is it? Oh! Two diamonds per stack for all blocks. Ooh! 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 That could come in handy. Alright. Deep slope. Stone. Stone. Mm -hmm. That might come in handy, but I might make a cobblestone, or oh, stone, make a stone generator, or well, a cobblestone generator, I'll just do that probably, ah, either way, uh, we'll see how we go, might get a silk touch and eventually just go that way, oh yeah, okay, cool, <laughs> alright, cool, mangrove, got sheep, camel, cactus, Ooh. got the pet sniffer in here as well, and plenty of mobs <laughs> underneath and probably a cave somewhere cow farm another house here I forget who lives here uh, let's say on the door oh welcome shrieker uh, <laughs> that's rogues that's rogues island over there uh, Neon's little hermit tower over there. I don't think Rogue started on anything over there yet. He's just got a farm, basically. Uh, this is Lavathor's main place. The garage. I haven't gone that way actually yet. Now we see how we go down that way. He's got done quite a bit over here. Looking schnazzy. I like it. Right here, we got the farms as well going. And that more of that wall over there going in. Uh, but where I've kind of looked at for a base... Where I've kind of looked at for a base uh, is a little bit far away from everyone. Just a little bit. Little, just, just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah, nothing much has changed. Oh, actually, uh, some slabs have been put down. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, and a few pillars, maybe marking some out in some areas. Oh yeah, they've been turned into stairs now. Oh yeah, bro. He's making his, making his castle. He's on his way, he's on his way. But the sun's setting as well at the moment, so we've got that beautiful sunset. Love these shaders, look at that. Just beautiful. Got the clouds in the sky, got a dolphin somewhere around me apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is behind me. <laughs> oh, lovely setting. And look at that, look at that. Oh, beautiful. I love shaders. I don't know about you guys. Put down in the comments what your favourite shaders is. Because mine, oh, it's got to be this one. Ooh, we've got the moon. Oh, look at that moonlight as well. I'm a sucker for immersiveness, so this is... This is nice. <laughs> this is certainly nice. Uh, kind of another little bit of a dead island right there. There's a lot of stone by the looks of it. Uh, ours is a little bit of a broken place, really. It is a, 
Uh, when I say broken, I mean that in all intensive purposes, great. But it is a little bit of a pain. You, you, you'll see, you'll see. So, there's the beginnings of my island. Here we go. It's coming into frame. And this is what... <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's... It's a little bit broken in the sense that it is so high. <laughs> but, um, ooh, got some friends coming. But I have started to make a little bit of a way up there, but I have found that doing this is just way easier. <laughs> and I'll probably do a spiral. I was thinking of just cornering off, so maybe definitely get rid of that lava, because that, that lava is deadly. Um, I was thinking of putting like a tower, just to put in a tower on both sides, and maybe a little like gate in there, making like a little kind of docking area here. I might even put like, I might even do a shop, put a shop on each side, you know, that has different types, so other players uh, on the server can check it out and sell and buy some stuff. Give him a little bit of an adventure. Adventure going this way. I already know um, Neon, he... Uh, we we both found the... <laughs> we we know that the um, uh, the stronghold is over there, so it's very close. It's very close to us. So uh, we know that it's over there. I believe he's already defeated the dragon. <laughs> so... That's already been off the table. I'll do it. just uh, sleep through the night here. But yeah, this is this is my humble abode. Uh, there is not too much. I've collected knickknacks all around. <laughs> done done the usual, you know. Collect collect as much as you can, and uh, you know uh, we go from there. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think what. Well, we all need to do as we begin is kind of just make a base. I, I was wanting to do the base up here, so maybe even the, at the top here. That's why I've created this makeshift ooh, makeshift water that I am not working out. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So I was thinking of doing it at the top of this um this mountain <laughs> depixelated one-sided mountain <laughs> uh but yeah uh i'm not sure at the moment but yeah. there are a few terraforming things by the looks of it that will need to be fixed if i was to do it so that's kind of put me off a bit from going doing it up here i mean we don't want holes up here no, let's be real we don't want holes Removing the trees is probably a good idea, just to do. Yeah, maybe make a tree farm or something up here. We might, we might even just use this for farmland or something like that. Uh, but it goes all the way around, so it goes all the way around. It has this little inlet in here, but it's kind of blocked off by this, the ice down there. A bit unfortunate. Oh, we've got a cave over there. Uh, something else that the server doesn't know about. So because the border. Um, is only at a certain amount of blocks. Uh, that means that resources uh, and certain stuff you can't get until you've unlocked a piece of the land. Uh, so we've been quite fortunate in that we have uh, pretty much every um, like wood type and all that. But there is one which, which one wood type that I I love to use for my building my building style which we didn't have but since uh, Neon did the stronghold it should have unlocked when he uh, increased the border and I found it a little while ago uh, when I was um, scoping out bases and I was like ooh we need that ooh Celia ooh nice we use that and it should be somewhere over here. 
Unless someone has already got to it. Oh, someone's already got to it. Oh, they've already done it, have they? Yeah, they got all of them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Okay, for all context, uh, the wood type was dark oak. <laughs> there was a dark oak tree right here and right there there and there by the looks of it so oh that's unfortunate oh well i mean someone's already collected it and gone a little one block water someone's already collected it god damn it damn all right well that means wo every wood type has been found but it has been placed at spawn, so that means someone's just hoarded it for themselves. I think, oh, finding another dark fo dark oak forest will take a while. I love dark oak as well, so that's unfortunate. But um, it's all right. It's all right. We move. We move. Nothing over here, is there? It was just that little one spot over there. Damn. Damn, I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> Might have been Neon that even did it. Oh dear. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Yeah, all, all fair. We'll see how we go. We'll find, we'll get the next one. We'll get the next one, boys. We'll get the next one. Yeah, as much as I like in this mountain. I'm thinking we might even do like a little mountain build, so house will be inside, I think. We'll be a little mountain mountain hermit. Have our mountain house in here. We'll just build into the uh, into the mountain, I think. Start off where we are. Make a little scenery or something like that. See how we go. Be, there we go. Alright. There we go. Back in here. Alright, so uh, if I'm going to be mining it out, I'm going to need more storage space. Uh, <laughs> So let's let's do that as a starter. Uh, actually, I only needed eight. I don't want to grab that many. There we go. Double chest, and I'll just put it down here. There we go. Chuck those in there. Chuck the tools in there. All right. Oh, I kind of don't want to use the the good pick. And now that it's expanded as well, that also means we have plenty of room to go into the mountain as well. So we actually, we can go all the way, so that's even better. Uh, just leave it like that. Got the three. There we go, we've got plenty, plenty there. Alright, let's, let's make it into this hole.
Alright, we're back guys. I've collected some wood, so I've collected just, just about three stacks. I've also got a lot more spruce saplings now, and I've got I've killed some skeletons, so we can make some... Oh, I'll make some bone meal right now, actually. There we go. So we've got bone meal, so <laughs> we're plenty happy if we need to make any more trees, and if needs be for bone meal, I'll just kill some skeletons at night, maybe on top of the mountains. There's no torches there, really. Uh, but while we're in the ocean... Uh, just getting a look at that, at the beginning of our build. Looking nice, it looks like a giant like eye in the mountain, doesn't it? It looks cool. I kind of want to do a little bit of um, setting down here just for the first episode, um, but um, let's see how we go, we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. I've done a little bit of the top here, so while we're here, I'll get that done and go about that. Maybe in, a, maybe in the next episode we'll look at the bottom half a bit. But for now, I kind of want to just get this sorted. Alright, so let's do that. All right. Alright guys, so we've just cleared out this area, so I've created this little circle pattern here and I'm thinking I will might even replicate it here. I haven't thought about that bit yet. I might redo this, yeah, I might redo this at some stage once we've taken care of this water and uh, we'll go from there. I'll have to expand this, but at the moment this is what we've got so far. Uh, while we're at it, I might just take a few coal, just like so. Um, oh, I already had coal there. Um, and I will grab some wooden planks. Like so, take some sticks. And we've got some torches, just light up the area just a little bit. shouldn't have to worry about anything spawning here. Everything should be alright. But I'm thinking that will be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the first episode of LavaCraft. Uh, make sure you do check out the other people. Uh, I'll list a few of them down in the description as well. Check out their perspectives, see what they're up to. Like and subscribe uh, for, to see more comp content and we should go from there so see you guys in the next episode goodbye
And Lavathor has something to show me. What could it be? Oh my god, no way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bustling town. I think the fish one's my favorite. <laughs> oh, I fuck my parkour, parkour, parkour. Hey, terracotta, we got it. Looks really cool. Right, time to die. Ah! Uh, <laughs> whoever did the sound for that frog had the most fun time ever. <laughs> Imagine you're in the studio booth and you're gonna try and figure out the sound it's, for the it's a fish flop on layer. for this fish. <laughs> when you're in there, you just like <laughs> trying to trying to figure out the sound. <laughs> Guy had a very saucy burger that was just like. <laughs> 